Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and CES 2015, the week where all the coolest news gadgets gathered together in one place, is officially winding down. The drones are flying home, the robots are bidding their farewells, and the self-driving cars are en route to home base. After having combed the floor to see everything that we could see, here is our official top 10 of CES 2015. The top audio product goes to the wireless, waterproof, in-ear, fitness, and heart rate tracking braggy earbuds. They're not only wireless to the device, but also to each other, and no matter how much you shake or jump around, they're gonna stay right in there. They're a crowd funding success and seem like a dream come true if you're looking at earbuds. Virtual reality was a big hit this year, and out of all of the companies vying for the title, Razer's OSVR Hacker Dev Kit made my top. While there's still a ways to go with making a truly immersive VR experience, Razer gave us a 5.5 inch 1080p display, 100 degree field of view, completely open source headset. It's got a sensor hub with an accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass, and it also has ports so that you can can attach other devices. It's compatible with any software you can design for Windows, Linux, or Android. If you want to take a stab at making the one true VR immersive experience that everyone is looking for, you can get priority access on Razer's website. Now, if you're into wearables and fitness trackers, which I'll be honest, aren't exactly my cup of tea, you might be interested to check out Heelby's Gobi Smart Band. Every fitness tracking wearable that I've ever tested out has been really good at measuring your calorie and activity output, but you still have to manually enter your calorie intake on an app like MyFitnessPal. The Gobi, however, claims to be able to measure your calorie intake just by measuring your glucose levels by touching your skin. Now, if this is real life, that is awesome and a total game changer. However, there's scientists out there refuting that this is even possible, so we'll see. The award for everyday best use product goes to the Smart Wallet Walk it. It's literally a wallet with a digital touchscreen that you can store any card that you have that has a barcode, a QR code, a number, or a magnetic strip, and it produces an actual physical card that you can run anywhere that takes credit cards. It uses a rechargeable battery, but the battery life is six months between charges with normal use, and it's super secure using biometric voice print verification. Best phone of the show goes to the LG G Flex 2. That beautiful, sleek, curved screen with the plastic OLED makes it really durable and flexible, and it's sure to be at the forefront when it comes to market this year. Best phone accessory goes to the Fleur One thermal camera for Android and iPhone. It's now in its second generation using what they call MSX technology to not just give you that beautiful thermal image, but an incredibly detailed one. And it's all on your smartphone. Very, very cool. As far as TVs go, here at CES, 4K is yesterday's news. But if you just want a little bit of a feast for your eyes, Samsung was showing off an 8K glassesless 3D model that was mwah, perfection. But Trisha, what's the coolest computer you saw at the show? Surprisingly not a gaming PC. I'm giving the best PC to the HP All-in-One Sprout. For $18.99, not only are you getting a top-of-the-line PC with top-of-the-line specs, but you're also able to interact with it via touchpad, touchscreen, or the HP Illuminator. The Illuminator uses Intel's RealSense 3D camera so that you can capture 2D or 3D images from above. It opens you up to connect with your PC in a whole new way, and it's really cool to watch in action. Best in gaming product goes to the Mad Cat's Lynx 9 gaming controller. Yes, it's a $300 Bluetooth mobile controller, but it's modular, so you can make it however you want, whenever you want. The basic controller has a really nice feel in hand, and with it, you get a smartphone and tablet holder, a QWERTY keyboard that can snap right on, and and cables to hook up to your TV. It's a niche product for sure, but I've never seen anything like it. And finally, this was a huge year for car tech. All of the major players had some type of offering of smart car, self-driving or otherwise, but it was the Mercedes-Benz F15 luxury motion concept that stole my heart. Yes, it looks like a super futuristic alien spaceship on the outside, but on the inside it looks like a luxurious private jet, with those front driver seats able to swivel around to face the back. And the gutty works of the thing are just insane. Self-driving? Check. Hydrogen fueled? Check. And if the passengers want to interact with the vehicle, they can do that via gesture, eye tracking, or a high def touch screen. Pretty cool. So that's it for this year's CES. Is there anything that blew you away or what would you have wanted to see more from this year? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and 